I'm going to use this recording to show you how to make a chart in Google Docs. If you go to uh, My Drive and you'll get your uh, Google Drive open, um, I have a lot more than you do. Uh, go up here, ignore all this, and just go up here to Create. Click on Create, click on Spreadsheet, and this is what you'll see. Uh, you can do a lot, a lot, a lot of things with spreadsheets. Uh, but one really nice thing with spreadsheets is you can make really cool charts with the insert chart function over here. Saves you a lot of time in graphing. I have kids ask me, well, can I just dot the graph in? Well, you don't have to. You can enter the data if you know what to do and insert a chart and you're done. Um, one common mistake that people make is they type in things like 52 degrees. Okay, uh, spreadsheets and 52 degrees was at uh, that took 18 seconds. Well, the problem with that is charts. You can do that for certain charts, but many charts that you want to make aren't going to like that. You put the numbers in, and then you change your uh, axes to make it work. And so let me show you how that goes. So let me enter some uh, data. I'm just going to make it up. Okay, over here will be my degrees. So uh, let's say it was 51 degrees and we had uh, 18 seconds and it was 52 degrees and we had 22 seconds and we had uh, 54 degrees, oops, 2 degrees again and we had 20 seconds, let's just say. And then um, at uh, 25 degrees we had 18 seconds. But at 25 degrees, the next time we had 50 seconds. And at 25 degrees, the next time we had 60 seconds. And then we had, uh, let's go, let's say we just did one more, 10 degrees, and it took, I don't know, uh, 75 seconds. So now what you do is you have your data. You know which column is which, and that's the key. You've got to make sure that you know which column is which. Select the data. Go over here and click Insert Chart, and this doesn't look like anything you want. It's a scatter plot, and a scatter plot just has the dots all over. So what you do then is you go, okay, recommended charts. Here's what they recommend. This is a chart looking at trends. We don't really care about trends. We want to see where all our data points are. Click More. Go down to Scatter. And then you have to choose the chart you want. You can't just leave it. So I'll choose this one, and it gives me a preview. That looks pretty good. Here's uh, my y-axis with uh, my, my uh, seconds on it. Here's my x-axis with temperature on it. Okay, and the thing to remember is the first column will usually be the x-axis. This column will be the y-axis, and that's what you want. So hit insert. And it shows up in my uh, thing right here. Of course, now I don't have any um, labels or anything, so I uh, clicked this button and went to edit. Okay, and it gave me the choice to edit, so it says uh, quick edit mode. Click on that, click the area of the chart you want to edit. So I'm going to title my graph um, speed of alka. I'll just put AS reaction over time. Not a very good title, but we'll leave it like that. Over here on the x-axis is uh, seconds to dissolve, or dissolving time in seconds. Put the label in parentheses. I go here. Uh, whoops, I must have forgotten to do something. Oh, I forgot to hit enter. So, dissolving time in seconds. Enter. Click here. Uh, temperature. Hit enter. And I'm done. Uh, this isn't exactly correct, so I'll go back here and fix the title. The speed of reaction over temperature. and enter
and I'm done. Okay, so now I can take the chart, click up here, I can publish the chart. That would put it in my uh, documents or in my into your documents. I can save it as an image. That would be able to put it into a PowerPoint. I can uh, copy it and paste it into a PowerPoint. So, um, and I can move to own sheet which means that I can put it on its own little sheet, and then I can copy the chart, label this, whatever, save it, and then upload it as a present and put it into my presentation. And you see that by doing a scatter plot, we can see trends over time. So that's how you uh, make a scatter plot chart in uh, Google Docs.